So I release from a woman and Thug release from a man. I just feel like it was really nice to do like from an artistic standpoint and I would like to do that again with him for sure. I wanna be able to get on the same record and like say how I feel and he says how he feels like on the same record and then you like explore what that looks like, you know? At some point in time, we had two separate video treatments that had pretty much the exact same pretense. It was just from a, a different perspective. It's a good representation of how he feels probably. And mine is like a good representation of how I'm feeling. We're repeatedly like, no one's ever done that. We should do it. You know, like, <laughs> they can't beat us there. I close my eyes and trust your plan. Won't let no one force my hand. You've paid the cost for true romance and you won't buy love again. Honestly, I'm talking to Jesus Christ. You know, like I'm talking to God in that first line. And then I follow it up with won't let no one force my hand as in obviously there's a lot of outside noise about what I should or shouldn't be doing or like, you know, lots of opinions, but you have to stand on how you feel. Otherwise you might as well be somebody else. I thought I'd seen it all before, but now I've seen so much more and finally some doors will close, but here's to open windows. I was just like done with relationships and I was not gonna spin the block. And then it was like, now that all the doors are closed, there's an open window there. Still a possibility, you know? Look at the trust closing in. This is someone I can depend on, yes. Sent from above, I am convinced. If it isn't luck, I guess love exists. Maybe there actually are people in the world who can be there for you in a way that you didn't think anybody could be, you know? It's like whatever claim they were making or, you know, whatever they were saying they could do, they actually did it. I was like, I could depend on you. Hmm, I don't know if I've had that before, but it's nice now, you know? Tell me how it all ends up in the open. We can watch it all slow down in a moment, don't it? Seems like you change your mind and it's showing. Seems like you can't deny the emotion from a woman. When a woman denies emotion from a man or like denies a particular kind of like intimacy, it makes the man like shut down and behave in different ways or it can make him like over compensate. Like once you like let him into it, it can change his perspective on a lot of things. You know, especially when it's like real and genuine. I think it could really change men. I roll the dice and take a chance. Won't let no one say I can't. Won't call you slime cause it don't fit. I see you as more than this. My boyfriend, by close people to him or like to other people around, they like call each other slime. I just feel like it's more like a, like a boy thing. You know, it's like a boys club thing. I just see him as more than that. You know, I see him as more than just like him and all his boys and his like rap stuff. And it's like, you know, it's cool now. It's cool like for sure. But I just see him as like this nice family guy. You know, it's like, He's just so like multifaceted and it takes time to get to a, a place where you can like see somebody for what they really are and then not for what everyone sees them as. It doesn't just come all at once though, you know, it's like it does take time to reveal those layers like an onion. I fall dreams not to mention you paid me back and then some we made a pact to listen. And now I know what I was missing. I look around, it's like animals flying around, like with the birds and the bees, and like they're always with a partner. And I know this sounds like scientific, but it's like, I think eventually you know what you want, you know what you have to offer and like what kind of person you are. You meet someone who's also very, knows who they are. And it's like, it makes it easier to assess the situation and move forward. Yeah, I know that seems like a long-winded conversation, but that is how I found what I was missing. For me personally, I feel like it goes communication, understanding, trust, and then love. I think when you skip any of those steps, you don't really get to the outcome you're looking for. It creates a barrier for whatever love you think you want or whatever intimacy you feel like you deserve in a relationship. It's like you don't have the foundation. 